So yesterday, I said I wanted to get to the NOC, but I got to Brown Fork Shelter, which is this one here. And I just, I decided not to. Because if I do a 28, I'm going to be kind of wrecked for the next day. And the main thing I have to do is I just have to do miles every day to finish when I want to finish. I'm trying to get home for Christmas, so... Um, I already bought my ticket, so I have about nine days to get to Springer. Nine days to do 150 miles, so I need to do about 17 a day. And I know I'll be able to do a couple of 20s in there. Um, as long as I don't do less than 17 a day, I'll be fine. And that's not, that's in my comfort zone. Um, I've slacked off a couple of days. I shouldn't have. I really needed just to go every day. Um, but... I feel really good today. I, slept, I went to bed yesterday at like 4 o'clock, <laughs> like 4.30, and woke up at about 8 today, so I had a real good night's sleep, um, which is huge. So I'm going to get to NOC today, and then keep pushing. This nice shelter here, no mice in this one. The water is down a very steep path here, it's right down in there. But it's very steep, and with these leaves, it's very slippery. So, but it's a beautiful day. You know, got a nice blue sky. Not too cold. I'd say it's probably in the low 50s right now. High 40s, low 50s, and probably low 50s. Can't see my breath, which is not really the best indicator of temperature. But and then there's this weird-looking tree over here. A big nose. Strange, strange oak tree. So, nine more days, and I'm done. i got to finish this in nine days. Now the race begins. So it came up, an unnamed, I think it's just sort of a uh, unnamed uh, spur of Chioda. Chioa, or something like that mountain, which I've got to climb to get to NOC. Going through Simp Gap. Perhaps it's because there's a very dumb person who lives here. Simp Gap, or something like that. And we're going to go up another little climb. Get over Chioda. I think it's called Chioda. Chioda Mountain. The last, this is like, I think, one of the last good views on the trail. There's a couple fire towers, but I think it's the last bald. So hopefully it'll be good. And hopefully I'll get to NOC before it gets too dark. So I made the climb up to Chioda Bald. And it's a really beautiful view here. Looking, I believe this is the, yeah, this is the east. And down there somewhere. It's not the hall that tour center where I went. Hopefully, spend the night. I got about eight miles to get down there. And it's like three o'clock, so I'll be night hiking. But what isn't new about that? I'm really glad I didn't try to push a 27. Um, it's a pretty steep hill. Uh, it switches back, but it's really steep. I mean, that's probably the dip most difficult climb I've had in a while. <laughs> Even the Smokies. The Smokies are graded a lot better, I think. So, well, sadly, I won't be up here for sunset. I gotta get down to Nantahala, but so it's a beautiful view. Looking, I think that's Westerbald out there. I'm looking at Westerbald. And I've got a big climb out of Westerbald needed over here. Not really sure. You can see the smoke over in this little valley over here. I guess that's why they call it the... <laughs> it's my last really beautiful view from what I've heard, but we'll see about that. Well, I'm coming down to NOC at the, the spot called the Jump Up. You can see down to the Nahantahala River down here. Nahantahala River. Some more beautiful views. It's just about 5 o'clock now. See across to Westerbald. I still got a few more miles to go. But the trail here is pretty, pretty rocky. I'm right at the spine of the ridge. Yeah, it really is pretty. 